Since PGI closed about five years ago, the building has deteriorated tremendously through vandalism and neglect. And we want to resurrect it for the benefit of, uh, of the people of Pontefract. It, it by rights belongs to them. Looking back at the history, there's a lot of rich heritage that's attached to this building. A lot of memories are in the bricks and the mortar. I think all the stories that people have got have not yet been told. Those are the stories that are woven into the fabric of the building. In the mid-1990s, we had a traveller who was high-ranked, who uh, became a fatality on the A1 during a nasty accident. We had a lot of visitors, as you could imagine, from the travelling people. Because of the uh, volume of people who were coming through, we had to say no, because it was just impossible uh, for everyone to come and see this, this guy who had passed away in this accident. They decided to cut a clump of air off one of the uh, travellers and put it in the corridor and inform the hospital management that the hospital was now cursed. It took several weeks, <laughs> several weeks for one of us to actually move this clump of air because it actually uh, unnerved a lot of people. It also represents a lot of heritage for the town. The Black Friars had a monastery on this site and of course there's the Hermitage, which is a very important historical site. Well, the fascinating thing is that the Hermitage started its life as a natural cave on a cliff edge back in the Middle Ages. And in 1386, it was founded by Robert de Lathorpe, the first licensed hermit to occupy the cell. Well, a true hermit was someone that actually wanted to lead a life of solitude and prayer and care. Here, someone had actually chosen this solitary life. They had lived in the hermit cell, which they had actually dug out of the ground themselves. So he put hard effort into what he did. Running alongside that timeline of the castle was the hermitage, was the development of the monasteries in Pontefract, and that the friary down here was very important so that this building has always been really integral to the delivery of care and thinking about the health of people in this area. We're looking at here an area which has been dispensing herbal remedies from the 13th century. Eventually, the hermitage just disappeared into history. Nobody remembered it. And it wasn't until someone doing some work in the road actually went through the road and happened to fall into the hermitage. And that was how it was refound. Dr. William Wright was the owner of the hermitage lands and the hermitage itself. And when he died in 1877, he put in his will that he wanted a new dispensary building for Pontefract in the gardens of the uh, hermitage and to include an entrance through the rock into the hermitage and the newly discovered oratory. Looking back on that story, I do sometimes think that the hospital did get cursed because of what's, uh, what's happened ever since to the demise of this once great hospital of ours. This hospital made me become the nurse that I became. After leaving this hospital, I lost that heart that is this hospital. This building represents what, what was a very important part of the life of Pontefract for 130 years. And it's for this reason we really want to have something done about the building that does protect it, the old dispensary. And this hermitage and oratory, which is unique. We must do all we can to protect it, restore it, and also open it up to the public again. I think it's very important that this building is, uh, is restored for the, for the benefit and for the heritage of Pontefract.